Hello everyone and Happy New Year! I'm your host, Lisa Ganji for 630 Naperville, now debuting the first of every month. With the start of another year, many of us find ourselves making resolutions to eat healthier and exercise more. But for a lot of us who work and raise families, that seems easier said than done. Fortunately, our own Kevin Maycheck spoke with some experts on simple tips for a better you, for even the busiest of bodies. One of the most common excuses that we hear across the fitness industry with regard to exercise is that there's never enough time to fit it into our busy schedules. But fitness experts say you can make time. All it takes is 20 to 30 minutes a day. We found that exercise is cumulative, so it's actually beneficial to work at smaller chunks throughout the day. Pick four to five exercises, go through the interval once, and that could be you know, six to eight minutes each, and you could do that three times throughout your day. There's many exercises you can do without any equipment at all, at home or at the office, including push-ups. Whether military or modified style is a great way to target not only the core, but the entire upper body, including the shoulders and the postural muscles. The standard forearm plank is a fantastic way to work strength and stabilization from the top of the head to the tips of your toes. Alternating lunges are a fantastic way to incorporate strength training for the lower body into your workout. You can add a load by holding on to something heavy like a kettlebell or a weight. Working out in a group class is also a great way to stay motivated. You can look to the left, you can look to the right, and you see people struggling just as mightily as you are, and that motivates you to keep trying and keep harder, not just for yourself, but for them as well, because guess what? They're looking to you as well to get a little bit of that push. While working up a sweat, wearing technology like a Fitbit or Apple Watch can help you keep track of things such as calories burned and steps taken. If you hit 2,000 steps, you're not doing too much. You hit your 10,000, you more than likely did something that involves some type of workout. Personal trainers say the most important feature is measuring your heart rate. People work out, they're kind of just assuming I'm working out hard enough, when in reality, if they put a watch on to measure their heart rate or a heart rate monitor, they might be below their zones. So they're just kind of guessing, whereas wearable tech gives you a better idea based on the details that it tracks to tell you I'm where I need to be with it within this point of time. Of course, a good workout is only as good as your diet. A lot of people feel that it takes a lot of time to eat healthy, um, and yes, that is expensive as well too, or they can't eat the things that they normally want to eat. When it comes to healthy eating, dietitian Mary Gardner says that's not necessarily the case. You, know, you can do frozen fruits and vegetables, canned beans, um, things like that where it's not super expensive to eat healthy. And it's not all that difficult either. You can even snack throughout the day, but it all comes down to what it is you snack on and planning ahead. And then you're less likely to be starving when you get home and then tend to make some unwise choices, most likely. We have a trail mix over here, which is something super easy and super fast. You can, you can throw in some, you know, the whole grain, the popcorn, some unsalted almonds, some craisins or raisins. I even threw in some chickpeas as well, too. So you get a little bit of, uh, of protein, a little bit of fiber, and also a little bit of carbohydrate as well. As far as meals go, Gardner shows us a simple stir-fry you can make ahead of time and can last for several meals throughout the week. Just some frozen vegetables, and some of them even come with a lower sodium type of a sauce. I added in um, some fresh bag spinach as well too, just for some added nutrients as well. And you can see this could probably be done within 10 to 15 minutes. So here's your sauteing the vegetables. The only thing you have to be concerned about is your protein. So you can add in chicken, you can add in um, shrimp, you can, um, you can add in tofu. Adding some beans to that would help with increasing the fiber. Between working out and prepping meals, sometimes the hardest part is just beginning. But it's worth it for that new you. It doesn't matter what kind of shape you're in. You could be in the best shape of your life, you could be in the worst shape of your life. You could be 100 pounds overweight, 200 pounds overweight. It doesn't matter. The goal is to just start because, in reality, the most important thing is your own health. I'm Kevin Maycheck for 630 Naperville.